What's going on filmmakers? I'm Alexander Don and today we're gonna go behind the scenes on a Christmas commercial. Familia este totul. Este centrul universului meu. E iubire necondiționată. În familie putem să facem rea doar cum, chiar și roz. Sau îl putem face virtual. Culto, Forever Diamonds, celebrează magia clipelor petrecute împreună. So before going behind the scenes, I'm really curious on what you think about this commercial. So leave me a comment down below and leave me your thoughts. Also make sure to subscribe so we can grow this community even bigger so a lot more people can get to know this channel and learn some filmmaking tips and also watch some amazing behind the scenes. All right, so starting off with the lights I use, this is the Netline Mix Panel 150 with a softbox and a grid on it. It was super helpful on this set. It allowed me to control the light as I wanted. And I also used a Pava Tube 15X uh, as a fireplace light. So we had this fireplace that looked really cool. I wanted light in there, so I said, why not use this? Uh, Pava tube. So it was super helpful to have the Nanlink app um, available and uh, turn off and on the light whenever we were not shooting so I can preserve the battery longer. I also had another Pava tube 15X as a top light uh, placed on an L stand and this was great to have a little bit of a backlight and top light in the same time. And going next to the Nanolite Forza 500, which I used with a big softbox. And this light was used mostly for beauty shots and a little bit as a feel light in some situations. But man, oh man, this light is beautiful. It allows me to make these beauty shots, these quality beauty shots that normally with other lights I couldn't made before this. So I really love using this, uh, this light quite a lot. Moving next to my camera. So I used the Sony FX6 with the 50 millimeter F 1.2. And this is the only lens I used on this set. And I mostly used it on F 1.2. So quite crazy. Um, this is also my wireless transmission system, which was great for uh, showing clients live feed from my camera. So I started off with some pretty simple shots just to get to know each other better and see exactly what she likes and what she does not like. So I showed her a little bit of shots. I showed her how the light looks and all that. And we agreed on um, a few things. Usually when I do beauty commercials or things like that, I like to get to know the actors um, better before starting the actual shoot. So I shot a few beauty shots with them just to, to get to know each other better and see exactly um, like I said, what she likes and doesn't like. So as you can see, um, even the first couple of shots turned out amazing, even if you don't see them in the commercial. But these are great as um, a warming process for yourself and for the people you work with. And I tend to do this quite a lot, especially when I work with women, because it's easier for me to get the shots that I want if we both get warmed up a little bit and get to know each other better before going into the actual shoot. So, I don't know, this is just a thing that I do. It doesn't take that much, it takes only 10 minutes. So here, talking about lighting here, I only had um, my main light, which is the Nanolite Forza 500 with the softbox. I had the backlight right here, as you can see in the back, and I used the Christmas tree as a practical light. So pretty much that's it. I also had the Mix Panel 150 giving me a little bit of a backlight, but I didn't really like it that much. So we ended up not using it in the final shots. So as you can see, using autofocus, um, not really bothering about keeping subject in focus because the Sony FX6 is absolutely amazing at keeping everything in focus, especially at 1.2. Of course, whenever I film jewelry, I tend to put it on manual focus so I can get the focus whatever I want. But overall, when I film faces, autofocus is on. And this lens and this setup has changed the way I work. I work so much faster now and things look absolutely beautiful. The 
f1.2 guys oh my god you need to try it to see exactly what i'm talking about so now we go to the actual shooting where we get things ready because we film with kids and all that so we don't really want to um, overwhelm the kids and make them repeat the shots over and over again so uh, i showed the kid the shots and what i want and she immediately understood so we did a couple of lighting tests with her and we ended up uh, using uh, one of the shots that you're gonna see in the commercial meaning this one it ended up looking really good and i really like how the image looks on this commercial and this is mainly due to the fact that we had this beautiful location which allowed me to light very easy so location is really important when you guys want to make good images this is what defines good image it's a balance between location lighting actors and colors so if you have all this you're not gonna go wrong what i want to say is that i filmed everything handheld and because i shot everything in 50 fps and 100 fps everything looks really smooth and um even though I'm at 50 millimeter, it still looks smooth and I really love how it looks. And this is also due to the fact that the FX6 is pretty heavy with everything on it. So we don't have micro vibration or anything like that. But man, oh man, the image looks absolutely gorgeous. I really love this setup. I really love this camera. And uh, lighting wise here, I kept on the same lighting I used for um, the beauty shots but i changed a little bit of things so i just gave a little bit of light that appears that it comes from the christmas tree and that's it i went back and shoot a more beauty shots with uh, Cataline. by the way a side note Cataline has his own show and it's one of the biggest shows in romania at tv so it was quite a unique uh, experience working with somebody that's so big in the t TV industry and has so much experience, but these people were so humble, so easy to work with them. I really loved it. Did a couple of shots that didn't end up using in the final commercial, but we might use them as social media shots. So why not have a few extra shots to send to the client and make it happy? So moving on to the next location, which was in this beautiful, beautiful dining room from the hotel that we shot. And this hotel was a really beautiful location. I've seen movies uh, and a lot of things shot here. So it was so nice to be able to shoot in this beautiful location. And the lighting for this was pretty easy. What I had to do is I had to crank up my lighting to the max because we were not allowed to shoot shut down the lights so to counteract uh, the ugly lights that were in this location i had to bump up my lights in order to feel the lighting that was in the room so um, i hope you kind of understand the process so sometimes you kind of have to use little light and sometimes you have to use a lot of light and here our lights were at the maximum and uh, i think the shots look really good I had a lot of help, everyone was super involved, the makeup artist, the hair artist, they were one of the best in Romania and I think you can tell by the makeup and the hair and all that because everything looked perfect. I'm so happy how this turned out. So getting a few more shots, different angles, trying to capture the emotion and all that and this is the kind of a shot that we kept on using. I really love the focus pulling from uh, the jewelry to the hand and it was quite hard. I had to keep my camera in a weird position, but the shot turned out pretty nice. Usually when I give instructions, I love to show um, my actors on the monitor what I want from them and they immediately understand and things get so much easier on the next shots. So switching from manual to um, switching from auto to manual in some cases, so I can focus on whenever I want because FX6 doesn't have tracking is a little bit hard to anticipate where the camera is going to focus unless there is a face. But um, lighting wise here, pretty simple, just trying to fill out and uh, avoiding the camera, the, the room's natural lighting. So that's why we cranked it up to the max, but the image looked amazing and has a lot of separation. This is what I 
what I try to create whenever I light. Whenever I light, I try to create uh, three-dimensional separation. So um, that's why I like to play with the lights and use them from the side or in this case, the light is from the side. So uh, it kind of gives contrast and it also gives separation. So as you can see, like I told you, it has a really beautiful separation and I know I could have lighted a little bit more dramatical, but it didn't fit the story. So whenever I film with females, I like to light perfectly on their faces. So the face looks flawlessly. So this next shot is quite crazy and I really want to show you. I used autofocus on this one and it worked absolutely amazing. So we filmed kids running towards their parents and the result is mind-blowing just look on how good the camera tracked them and how good it held the autofocus in 1.2 imagine having to do this manually no way there's no way you could have done that but this is the final shots and they ended up looking absolutely amazing and with all this being said guys i hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes and um if you did, make sure to subscribe so I can make more videos like this and uh, you can potentially learn something from my experiences. So until next time, make sure to have some fun, go out, create some epic content and um, let's hang out on Instagram as well. Cheers, guys.